How is the complete S7 graph program integrated into the existing S7 project? After saving the sequence chain, a runnable function block is available in the block container of the Semantic Manager. For it to be applied within the S7 project, it must be called, for example, in the cyclically processed organization block OB1. When parameterizing the block, you can select which of the four possible operating modes the sequence chain should work in. For testing or commissioning, we then load the S7 project into the S7 CPU, including the now integrated S7 graph function block. You can now monitor the sequence chain online as well as in the work area by triggering the monitoring function in the overview window. Additionally, S7 Graph offers further functions for effective process monitoring and control. The step monitoring, the so-called supervision, enables you to monitor execution times of actions, for example. In case of an error, the step remains active, However, it is not switched to the next step. The event can also be easily generated as event message or alarm message. This also applies to the so-called interlock, in which you can define locking conditions for each step. Here, all actions to be executed are only activated if the interlock conditions are true. For all automation tasks with sequential structures, S7 Graph is the optimal engineering tool. Use the benefits of this graphic programming language in order to easily realize the requirements of your automation task successfully in a time and cost-efficient manner.